Hi, this is Elaine Abernatha, and I am a digital innovation leader for JCPS. And we're going to talk about how to isolate columns and or tabs in a Google spreadsheet. Often I get asked, how do I share a pieces of a spreadsheet and not share the entire spreadsheet? And for reasons we may not want to share entire district information or maybe um, teachers to teachers information, so we just want to share pieces of information. So this is how we're going to do it. So I've just gathered this spreadsheet that has a lot of information just to share with you guys um, as false data. So the first thing you need to do is open up a blank spreadsheet. And this blank spreadsheet will uh, be how we're going to then share to whoever or whomever we need to share our data with. So you're going to use the formula import range. First you do is you're going to push equals and then import. And then you see all of these formulas that start to um, show up. And at the bottom you've got import range. And this is, this is like the tutorial or the key of what you're going to do. The first part is the URL of the source. So where your information actually resides initially. So you're going to put quotation after your open parentheses and we're going to jump over to where our data originates from. Copy that URL from the Omni bar. Go over back to our blank spreadsheet and paste that there. Now you need to close your parentheses and then comma. So that's really saying I want you to look at this spreadsheet and then now I need you to find out where exactly we're going to spit out. So first what we're going to look is maybe I just want to share with them the column C through E. So we're going to jump over here and then type, do parentheses C colon E. Close parentheses or close quotations and then parentheses. Now, depending on the share rights of your initiated or your uh, original data spreadsheet, uh, we didn't have to allow access here. But often if this spreadsheet is only allowed to certain people, then you're going to need to click on this cell and it'll show a button that says allow, um, allow import. So that's how we have now shared columns C through E. And then now if we wanted to share that with a third party, we can click share and then they only have access to C, C through E. Now this data is just really a window of looking into the original data. They can't really manipulate it, they can't change it for sure. But let me show you what happens if I try to write in here. It's going to give you that error that says it cannot overwrite cell C8. And if you delete that, it shows back up. So they can't change it, they're just given a copy of it. So let's look further into, this spreadsheet has several different tabs. And so if I want to share with someone a, an, an entire tab, I need to be specific so that the formula shares with just that. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to go back to our formula and we're going to say what tab it is. Then we're going to need to do a quotation mark and that we can do C through E and then push enter as well. So now we know that it's just going to be showing on that one tab. Now say I just wanted to do a pieces of that tab. I could do C3 through E3. Or maybe, and that obviously is blank, so I could do C6 through E6. So these are, you can get as narrow or as wide if, you, if you'd like, as you'd like. Narrow or as wide as you'd like. So say I want to import this entire spreadsheet. I can do A through Z, and sometimes those go even further than that. And there we have it, all that information. Now you will notice that this has color 
color coding and formatted different and you would have to do that very similar here. But this is just a way for you to isolate specific information to share with others um, so that you're not sharing information that you may not want other people to see. And I hope this helps. Get involved with Kentucky Go Digital. Attend regional events, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on Twitter.